folks, welcome back to another episode of How I Did That. Today we're going to be talking about hearty meal. Um, first thing I should note is that the face of the characters was inspired by Crispy Boat on Twitter. Um, they do cool, like, clay stills that are, like, boiling. They look nice, but specifically the Silent Hill piece, I really like the look of the eyes, the nose, the mouth. I should have added noses to my characters, thinking back on it. I, I like noses. <laughs> Weird thing to add. But the rest of the model, not the face, the rest of the model was made using monstermash.zone. It's a website where you can sort of just like draw onto a canvas and then it creates a 3D model based off of your drawing. Really cool and uh, good for someone who makes 3D models like me, uh, poorly <laughs> and like, you know, uh, not solid sort of look. On top of that, I also added a, uh, a slit for the mouth, and which you couldn't really see, so I added the solidify modifier, solidify modifier, to try and make it more noticeable, but it's still, you, you have to like zoom in to see it, or watch the video on full screen. Go back and rewatch the animation in full screen. <laughs> um, I also used shape keys to animate the mouth, um, which I didn't end up animating the mouth, but it was good because when I made the um, the waiter and then uh, copied him to be the waitee, I could just turn the uh, shape key for the smile down to the base. Easy as. I also just wanted to try out shape keys because I don't think I've really used them ever, even though they are like a really good thing to use, especially <laughs> for claymation where you know, you deform the mesh and simple ways like that. Usually I just use like animal. The scene was lit using three different light sources. Two were um, like spotlights directly onto the scene and one was an area light pointed up at a white surface to reflect down a sort of passive glow onto everything. Um, the two spotlights were different colors and I, I just wanted to try and add some like color range to the scene. I didn't really know <laughs> if it was noticeable at all. Uh, maybe in certain angles. Uh, the table originally, the table I made, uh, was too tall for the character. Um, I like made the table and the chair, and I was like, cool, and then I made, uh, put the guy into the chair, and I realized that the table was a bit too high. So I just, yeah, put that down. Um, the music was, no, the music wasn't simple, it was, complicated. <laughs> Originally the music was going to be a lot more melodic. So I just like put a bunch of things onto the, the music playhead. You're probably going to hear what it sounds like now. <laughs> this is what it originally sounded like. And then after that I thought, you know what, I should really play into the heart theme. So I made the bass that's like a do -dum. Tutum, tutum, you know? And I think that worked nicely, but I was like, I can't have this throughout the whole thing or else that'll spoil the surprise of having a heart. So I put it at the end and I was, uh, okay. So I've been listening to this song, Pink Cigarette by uh, Mr. Bungle. And in towards the end of the emotional climax, they had the like, I think it's more like a wah-wah guitar or effect. I, I didn't have a wah-wah guitar. Wah-wah. <laughs> so I just used a normal guitar, sort of bring, bring, you know, I think that sounded nice. And then I didn't want it to have the sort of strong emotional reveal of that guitar until, you know, the reveal. So at the start, I just thought I'll put some little plucks and then it sort of sounded like, like old video game music. And I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> um, anything else I could add? Oh, the, the most obvious thing. I can't believe I almost forgot about it. The, like, uh, what are they called? Axolotls? <laughs> Artillery veins? I know it's veins and it's like something else starting with A. The veins in the axolotls com 
connected to the <laughs> connected to the heart i used two planes that i turned into one edge that i then uh, subdivided to add a bunch of vertices down the line and then i i hooked it to hooked ob hook objects <laughs> i used hooks uh, at the end of each plane line uh, two hooks into the meat two hooks into the heart um, sort of animated them like that and I baked I it went through several iterations originally the characters were right next to each other obviously the waiter needs to be behind the wall and in doing so I left the, the cable of the heart through the wall back to the origin of the scene so the zero frame they're right next to each other frame one they're on the opposite sides and the uh, the cabling of the heart needs to whip over. I just realized I just made the those parts arteries. Sorry, I just made the cables invisible until the reveal because they kept poking out. So all I'm seeing right now is completely uh, irrelevant. But I think it's just kind of funny, so I'll leave it in. But yeah, I baked in the cables hooking between the meat and the heart. Went through a lot of iterations to make sure it looks nice. I think that's pretty much all I need to add. Sound effects are from Conker's Bad Fur Day. I don't know if I need to add this. All of the sound effects from some games that I download are completely unlabeled. So it's just a, a wide library of just like in-game labeling where it's not what the sound effect is. I don't know how to explain it. Basically all you need to know it takes a long time to find good sound effects, so I'm just like clicking through each file in this 1000 file directory of sound effects from Conker's Bad Fur Day. But yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't think I need to add anything else. I'm kind of going crazy. Um, so yeah, bye bye.